Pick up your yogurt. I need a thumbnail. A th a th this? Yeah. And I, like a what are we eating a day thumbnail. You're seriously going to use a picture of me looking like this? I, I don't know. As but a thumbnail? Sometimes I completely forget to do a thumbnail. And because we only film at 30 frames per second, like it'll be blurry. So it, it's a backup plan. But it'll be a really good one. For a Halloween vlog. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics and then every Monday we go live on Keto on the Couch where we just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website which is twocrazyketos.com and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell button and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Really, I feel like we could get a picture later in the day. We'll, we'll see, depends on what we do. Man. Welcome to our channel if you are new. Hi. This is gonna be a full day of eating, full day of like we have a lot to do vlog. What do we have to do Here's today? my thing is, we have given our resignation at the church, and I thought we would have less work to do, and I feel like now we have more work to do. Well, because you can turn your attention to like, okay, you know, when you're just kind of getting by. Like, there's some times, even with housework, where I'm like, okay, this is good enough, good enough, good enough in this area. And then there's the day that you're like, oh my gosh, I actually need to deep clean this going to take more time. Right. I need to get focused on this. And yeah, you're There's busy just now. never enough time. So don't push pause on your joy. Right. Don't wait until everything is just right to start keto, to go enjoy your day, to tell somebody that you love them. Everything isn't going to be perfect. And that's the thing. I know Do someone it. right now is probably typing in the comments, wait a second. You guys went to Orlando for a day. You went camping for two days. Just don't do that, and then you'll have enough time. No, we won't. We'll, we'll just spend that time yep. working more. That's right. And then still never get that chance to enjoy life. And we, you need to have a rest day. You every single week you need to have a rest day. And we're gonna we haven't written a rest day into our schedule yes. in five years. We so haven't. we are writing rest days in. Yep. And if work doesn't get done, work doesn't get done. It's just like the sleep thing for us. I can't right? really hear it. I for me, if it was up to me, I'd stay up till two or three o'clock in the morning. And one of the reasons videos are coming out later and some of the things are taking maybe five or six days to edit a vlog is because we have made this decision that sleep is the priority and I'm done working at nine o'clock or 10 o'clock at night at the latest and a lot of times earlier. And if that means the video is not done, the video is not done. I think that working and never giving yourself a rest and never taking a time out for yourself, it works for a little bit. Mm -hmm. I mean, you get really productive and then like- you blow up like a balloon. And well, and then you just crash. Mm -hmm. And I feel like then you're just kind of in the bed recovering and all of the hours that you felt like you gained, you're just giving them out. Right. They're just gone. Well, we're gonna get this day started. What's on this docket for today, sir? Uh, well, we went camping. The RV is disgusting. It is disgusting. Because it's been sitting on the side of the house. So it it's has not its like, fault. You know, mildew all over the outside cap. So we're going to pull the RV out and we're going to wash it. That's all number right. one. Um, then I'm planning on possibly uh, doing the patio because I'd like to do some barbecuing. It's summertime. I'd like us to get back in the pool. And it's one of those, it's It's just, it's disorganized and dirty. It's one of those good enough rooms. It's one of those rooms that for so long you're like, okay, it's our, it's fine. You know what? I can swim around it. Right. I can like just go in the hot tub and, and, and just have tunnel vision and not look at stuff. But like, yeah, Grayson's cage, everything needs to be the done. cage. And then, you know, what happens is it's a combination of just being outside. And then also the chickens who like to dig. 
you get this buildup of dirt on yeah. everything. It's not all the chickens. It's just outside. It's, right. it's you know, you get lots of dust and dirt flying around in sure. the air. And it's just a buildup. So I'd like to do that. I'd also, if not today, then tomorrow, I need to tackle the refrigerator because it's, it's really just, I can't stand looking in the refrigerator and finding stuff that's been there and I forgot about it. Yeah. And then it's just dirty and there's stuff in there. There's like old vegetables or onions that like, and then you keep forgetting that you have onions. So like Anthony goes out and buys, buys. onions. I was just going to ask you, what is the one thing that you feel like you buy over and over again because you're not aware that you already have some in the refrigerator just because of disorganization with something you buy over and over butter. again? Butter. Butter. Because you're like... I'm, I I'm never want to run out of butter. Never want to run out of butter. Mine, there's a twofold. Hot sauce and mustard. If yes, I am out I and I think to myself. I don't think we ever go to BJ's and you don't buy like Frank's Red Hot. I'm like, there's like 50 jars in the and house. And I'm like, I'm not sure. I haven't seen them. But it's just because it's buried in the, in the back of the refrigerator. So yeah, so that is the plan. Look at this beauty. Um, and then also some recipe development today. Mm. Um, we are actually going to film making this. Suntan lotion. This is, so I have, I've always had like a suntan lotion thing, but it was like really perfecting to be able to get it to be a cream because Looks like suntan lotion. a lot of times when Smells you make really your own suntan lotion, go ahead and rub it in. Oh, I thought you were going to do that for me. Oh, Isn't when you make, a lot of times when you make your, on your back. Put it on my back. Uh, when you make your own sun television, a lot of times it, it becomes like very hard. Yeah. So I've been really working on my recipe to make it so that even at the temperature in the house of 70 degrees, it's still it's not just like a lotion. Right. And not just like water. And I wanted something that you could actually put into like these little silicone containers. It smells like really, really good. Yeah. Because you can also just add whatever yeah. scent so, is good. So that's, so this is some of it right here. And yeah, it came out good. It smells really and, nice. But we're gonna film that video today. And then also let us know down in the comments section uh, if you're interested in Stuffler recipes. I am. Because, um, you know, we've got a lot of them. We've, I've come up with a lot of them, but I don't know if it's something that everybody is interested. I keep seeing things in, like in Facebook and stuff. I will not buy another appliance. That That's me, by the way. I'm one of those people. And then I go and, and buy another buy appliance. Mm -hmm. uh, but. I'm really enjoying it, and I'm just curious, do people want recipes with a stuffler? A lot of them you can kind of make without a stuffler. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, this is one of them. And so this, here's our breakfast. And basically with what this yogurt is. and blackberries, too. Is our carnivore mug bread, it's which so we made in good. that vlog the other day. I'll leave a link for it up here. It's the carnivore mug bread that's then been stuffed with some sausage mm -hmm. and some egg and then a hunk of cheese. And one thing I have learned with this, when you don't use shredded cheese inside of it, yeah. you can, but it becomes really gooey and you're like, I don't know if it cooked or if it's the cheese. So what I started doing is... So good. Chunks of cheese. Yep. Because then you get the good, like, gooey blob, mm -hmm. but it's not where you think that it hasn't cooked all the way through. Right. Because when we would make it with shredded cheese, you always were like, is that the batter? It was kind of confusing as to, w was it the cheese that was just melty, or was it that it didn't cook all the it way through? It turns out it was the cheese, yeah. but it, it's not as appetizing looking mm. as just the hunk of cheese in there. And so that's what this says. This carnivore... Like batter though is so stinking good. Yeah, I'm really, really enjoying it, and the fact that you're not having almond flour. Now we do have some almond flour recipes, mm -hmm. um, so it's not we're not just only using um, the pork rope, the pork rinds. Mm -hmm. But I really like it like this. And then we do have some yogurt with three blackberries. We bought blackberries yesterday at Sam's Club again for recipes, and then coffee, forty ounces of coffee, split between the two of us. One scoop of vanilla, perfect keto, uh, MCT oil powder, and then about a half a scoop of salted caramel, keto chow, and then also a stick of the chocolate mint 
element. There is a lot going on in this cup of coffee, but we have a lot going on in the day, and I think that this whole meal is gonna get us fueled and ready. Okay, so what's with the drone? Got my drone out. It's Saturday, and I was thinking, it's been a while since we've done Saturday chores. Chores? Chores. So I have a great idea. We're gonna throw the drone up in the air, and we're gonna wash the RV. Well, the roof looks a lot better. Okay, it's all clean. I think it looks way better. The roof looks a lot better. The roof was covered in mildew because it just gets rained on all the time. Yeah. So it needed it. It hasn't been bathed in probably a year. Time uh, for a bath. Now it's time for you to go back it up and put it away. You gotta learn how to drive it sometime. Not today. Okay, it's time. This backyard is disgusting. We've got like dirt that is like piled up all over the tables and everything from the chickens kicking things around. There's bird seed on the floor. There's just stuff piled everywhere. And it's summertime and we want to enjoy our patio. So it's time to clean the patio. Oh my gosh, it's hot out here. Okay, we got one side done. That side was the easy side. Now we gotta tackle behind us. But uh, I have this couch here and the cushions are nasty. They're old. So I'm gonna look online real quick and see if they have anything up at uh, Big Lots. Maybe we can replace these cushions pretty cheaply. Okay, they didn't have anything in Big Lots. So we're gonna go ahead and check Lowe's. Well, I got home with the new cushions and Rachel's decided she's gonna help me clean the other side of the patio. Let's do it. We got a set of cushions, not exactly the same as the other ones, but better than what we had. Better than what we had and cheaper than what we wanted. That's the perfect happy medium for me. got it done just in time it's about to like pour yeah i can you know the sky is getting like really dark look at that very dark and it's starting to thunder and stuff but we got it done of course a bunch of stuff ended up in the pool so i rolled up the whole vacuum cleaner because it was clean and we now had to pull it back out but at least now i feel like we can live on the patio again we can we can start to come out here again tabitha what is he into hey are you supposed to be eating cheese like that, sir? It's National Cheese Day. That looks like a drive-by to me. No. It's National Cheese Day. It's medicine. What you got going on here? So today, we've gotten so much done. We cleaned the RV, we did the patio, 
we're filming videos. Uh, we've already done our mm. sunscreen video. Oh, look, Bahia Anda's got an opening. Let's go. Like, that's on the waterfront. <laughs> if it's popping up on my phone, that's a waterfront we site. Watch the trailer now. We're not embarrassed of it. Um, so, I just came up with an amazing chicken nugget recipe. It's good. Uh, so, we're going to run to the store. Oh, this is so good. You want the last five? Yes, I do. Um, we're going to run to the store, get some more ingredients, and film that video because these are really good. And if you eat the entire batch, the entire batch, it's only six total carbs for the entire batch and 163 grams of protein. I could eat an entire batch of these. Man, I'm bummed. What's wrong? Well, I was really getting excited because we needed some dipping sauce for our chicken nugget recipe. And I got really excited about G Hughes. Usually their barbecue sauce is very tasty but I'm looking at this famous clucking dipping sauce and canola oil is the second ingredient. Come on now. What about the other one that we, we I found that better. other one. It was like a Dijon mustard Honey one. Honey Dijon water vegetable oil blend, which is olive and soybean and or canola. Like we're not even sure what's in it. Could be anything. We're just gonna make our own like honey mustard dressing. Yeah. Okay, so we're looking to compare our chicken nuggets to what we used to buy the kids, which is just regular chicken nuggets. But now I see that not only can you give wonky ingredients to your kids, but you can give them chicken nuggets that don't even have chicken them. Just fake meat chicken nuggets. And they're dinosaur shaped. Yeah. Made from carrots and cauliflower, whole wheat flour, corn, wheat flour, potato cornstarch. Like it's all filters. These are way too expensive, but they are so good. We're getting another jar of these Bubby pickles. What you got there? Okay, so we went to Publix to get some stuff to make a recipe video. And they had this on sale, this bubbly sparkling water. And we don't buy sparkling water anymore because we have our, you know, soda stream that we modified. But this flavor looked really, really good. It was coconut pineapple and they were buy one get one free so we didn't even think about it. like buy one get one free right you grab it it's buy one get one free till i got home and just realized that even buy one get one free on this stuff is not a deal there's only eight in the case now so like yeah it's buy one get one free but i'm paying five dollars for 16 cans of seltzer water i'm really glad that we modified that soda stream and just have unlimited as much as we want it's okay you can eat Tabitha was patiently <laughs> awaiting her food. Was during she patiently? Our life I don't know. She was like jumping up in the middle of it. Okay, so are you can't having get, a hard time? I can't get the threads just right. There you go. Tabitha, you can eat. You can go ahead. There you go. Okay, so what's for dinner? Chicken nuggets. <laughs> I'm all in. Wait, those are my chicken nuggets. You already ate yours. Mm. Uh, actually, we have a bunch of ground beef that I bought. It was special meat, so it has to be cooked up or frozen today. Special. So uh, we'll go ahead and do that. And uh, I don't know, do you want to make like another mug bread? Oh, yeah. I'm never going to say no to that. What are you doing? I'm putting salt on my plate. Why? Because I That's know. That's your dinner right there. I know. Well, I like to dip it all in salt. I so, just like it. I figure we've eaten enough chicken nuggets, so <laughs> like you're good with that right We've there. had a lot of chicken nuggets. I mean, I can always eat more food. Um, okay, so. Y'all know me. The I found these in Sam's Club, and we don't, we, listen, we haven't had jalapeno poppers. In a minute. January. December maybe? It's been a little while. It's been a while. Um, but these aren't really jalapeno poppers. They're jalapenos that are stuffed with brisket. I was chopped say, brisket wrapped in bacon. They're poppers. They just don't have cream cheese. Yeah. And the only reason I bought these is they were $5 off a package. So I bought them. I brought it up. I went through like scan and go. Didn't really pay attention. And then when I'm looking through the receipt, I'm like, I didn't get my $5 off. <laughs> and I went back up to uh, the you customer, know, service. customer service area. And she's like, and she looks at the picture. I went and took a picture of the sign. She's like, oh, the sale ended on May 31st. Oh. But I'll give you the $5. She's like, we just have to return them and then resell them to you for $5 off. So if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't have bought them. But they were a lot. I, I actually froze a bunch. Um, so uh, I'm interested. Like, are they any good? They're really good. Let me say. They're very flavorful. 
Oh, wow. We need to start just stuffing jalapenos with just ground beef or right. meat or Which shredded. Which pretty much what this is. It's like shredded brisket or whatever, and then wrapping it with bacon and just skip the cream cheese. We don't even need it. Okay. Could be a total fail. <laughs> this is sort of my stuffler. Okay. So this is a modification to my carnivore mug bread. All right. I turned it into a waffle batter. Also, there's a little surprise going for you behind us. So the timer is going to go off any minute. So what I did was this is ground pork rinds. Okay. With eggs and cream cheese and baking powder. So almost carnivore. Right. As a waffle batter. Okay. Then inside of it, ground beef, mozzarella cheese, and tomato sauce. Ooh, like a pizza burger. Ready? So look at that. Ooh, that looks good. It looks like it cooked all the way through. Yeah. So no almond flour. Dink. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. That's a whim. That is a whim. Wow. That is very good. Okay. That's good. I know you can't taste it. <laughs> it's a pizza burger. And I know you can't smell it. Mm. I don't think the average person would know that that is not flour or almond flour. No. I I don't know how I achieved this. <laughs> but, okay, let me see if I can break apart a piece. Mmm. Okay, see if you can cover your face. If there's, look at that. It looks like bread. Look at that. It looks it like really bread. Does. It is super tasty and I love, I mean, I love a pizza burger. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Are you happy? I'm super happy. And it's not even almond flour. No. There's no almond flour. So, I we're going to make this as its own recipe video. Okay. I don't think this video will be out by the time this vlog comes out. But I will leave a link for the recipe. Okay. Down below in the description. So, I will, as I'm editing this video, editing Joe... Before you release this video, you Kiss need to wife. go. Thank you. That's all I get, like on the cheek. <laughs> um, editing Joe, you need to make the recipe on the website That's and right. put it down below. Listen to him, Editing Joe. Because this this is a game changer. That's really good. This is a game changer. Okay. What other pizza toppings could you throw inside of that? Because the fact that the tomato sauce held up. Oh my gosh. You could put like green peppers or mushrooms. What would oh, you want? Oh, you can go a lot. Okay, what here's what we're going to do. What would you want on your pizza We're going to finish eating, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to show you when it's done, the surprise that's going on behind us. Surprise. Well, you're still eating, so this is all for me. I don't think so. What you got over there? Surprise, surprise, surprise. <laughs> What's that, Gomer Pile? Okay. So I took the same batter that I turned into a waffle batter mm -hmm. and I made a sweet chaffle. Okay. Using pork rinds. No Let's almond eat. flour. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> did it work? We don't I have did to. have a little leftover batter. I probably could have gotten, so with this one recipe that I did, I got two chaffles and then two waffles. I probably could have used a little bit less batter and gotten three stuffed waffles out of it instead i got two stuffed waffles and then two of these so i figured before we even try that see if it's any good we're gonna try this is the same exact batter but in the little mini waffle maker you ready dink oh my god that's really good is this like blueberries or something what no. is this oh my god that is tasty oh my god <laughs> So I took the same exact batter for that I used for the pizza. I added to it. That is delicious. Six drops of liquid sucralose. Okay. And a half a tablespoon, which is completely optional. I was trying to get flavor. Right. Okay. I added a half a tablespoon of the perfect keto strawberry collagen. Okay. That's the berry taste. Because I was just trying to get flavor. It had nothing to do with cons the consistency works. I didn't know it when I made it, yeah. but the consistency works based on the pizza thing. The strawberry collagen was just for flavor. 
It is good. I don't know why my brain went blueberry, but I guess it's because I associate it with blueberry waffles. There's definitely a berry taste to it. I stuffed it with strawberry and cream wow. cheese. Wow. Oh my gosh. We definitely need to dink this one. Dink. Ready? Dink. No almond flour. Pork rinds. Pork rind waffle as a dessert. It works. It works really well. Wow. Good job. I love when you experiment. It is delicious. Wow. Look at that. Look at that. That is really good. <laughs> that is really good. Well, and it's good because, too, we had said, like, this is a batter that we can make. and It's, it's like a piece of cake. And it's not, it doesn't have keto chow in it. It mm -hmm. doesn't have, like, if you, I like being able to use this kind of, like, carnivore batter. Mm -hmm. Because anybody could make it and, it, and it works. I just can't believe it works. Now, listen, I really like making my keto chow chaffles. Rachel hates regular chaffles, okay? You are never going to see me making chaffles with just eggs and cheese. I don't think they're bad. Rachel just doesn't just like them. She's not a them. huge fan. She needs these waffles. <laughs> like yeah. they're not really a chow. A true chaffle is cheese and eggs. That's that's what it is. When you start adding almond flour and other stuff like that, it's not really a chaffle anymore. It's it's some type of a keto waffle. Right. You will see us make a lot of those, like pork rinds and stuff like that. Maybe even almond flour, um, but nothing with just egg and cheese because Rachel just doesn't like it. But the pork rinds is just a game changer for it. It's so greasy, like a buttery greasiness layer that I feel like you want in like a rich dessert, right? Like you want a little like butteriness mm -hmm. to it. And the pork rinds, cause ah. it's, it's like, you know, they're fried in their own fats. You, it, that, butteriness the fat really just shows out this is very filling very good you're gonna think like you we should each have our own of these stuffed waffles it's really filling you don't need it. i mean you can cut this into four and be happy with just a fourth of it yeah i'm gonna eat the other half but that's okay don't get me wrong um but that gave us what probably could have been Four complete stuff, uh, three uh, three complete stuffed waffles. But what it did give us for sure was the whole pizza stuffed one and this whole one. Really? Oh, so out of the one bag plus two, two of, of these those? mini waffles. Wow. So I don't know about you, but like I still have my three jalapeno poppers yeah. left. Eating a half of that pizza one. And then only a quarter of this so far, I'm full. It's delicious. It's it's filling. Oh, I'm going to eat my other half. I'm not part. saying I'm not going to eat the other half. Let's I'm just saying crazy. it's filling. It is very filling. Yeah. So uh, I'm going to say right now, look at that. I'm going to say right now, I'm very sorry. I'm sure somebody is typing in the comment section. I can't believe you're making me go buy another appliance, but go buy another appliance. <laughs> Like, I'm telling you, this thing is a game changer. Don't I'll leave a link for it down buy below. buy it if you don't want. There's a lot of them out there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Doesn't the cook get the choice? No, you put but that, that one down. But that one's got more strawberries. I licked it. I don't care. I'll still eat it. Fine, you can have it because I love you. But you got to yeah. save a piece because we got to see if Caleb wants to try oh, it. Oh, yeah, he will. Well, not not for mine. Yes, <laughs> from I yours. It. <laughs> okay, um... No, I, I, there's a lot of them out there. I can only speak for the Stuffler brand. I do like the whole flip over. I think it changes things around, but I haven't experimented with the other ones. So if you message me, does it work with like the one that Matreya has, which is like the mini, the mini something? I don't know. I haven't tried we those just ones. Know this one. And if I buy another one to try it, Rachel's probably going to kick me out of the house. Yeah. Out. So uh, Presto one, I can tell you works for sure. And I again, I like that it flips back and forth. You like it waves at you. I like it. So ready? Think one more time. Think. Mm. Game changer. Mm-hmm. So if you like seeing videos like this. 
take a look at some of the videos we have linked right over there. Also, make sure you take a look at the most recent video, which I'm gonna put right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon, and that way every single time Joe comes up with something delicious, you'll be alerted to Till it. Till next time, bye. bye.